Okay, in the papers today, the leadership scandal at the Co-op Bank continues with George Osborne ordering an inquiry into £18 million worth of soft loans to the Labour Party. Labour is also alleged to have covered up concerns about the conduct of former chairman Paul Flowers, who is rumoured to have fled to Thailand following continuing revelations about his private conduct. City banking giants stand to make almost £17 million in fees from the flotation of Royal Mail. The revelation came as six top bankers were grilled by MPs on the Business Select Committee over the controversial sell-off, which made £1.7 billion for taxpayers, significantly less than a potential £2.9 billion if the shares had been offered at last night's price. In personal finance, David Cameron is progressing a U-turn to help hard-up families by cutting environmental taxes, which currently add £112 to annual energy bills. The rising cost of living has prompted a move away from his original plan to lead the greenest government ever. In recruitment, the Church of England is on course to open its doors to female bishops next year, after its General Synod voted overwhelmingly in favour of the new proposals. The move has raised hopes of an end to a 20-year standoff between modernisers and traditionalists. And in property news, the UK housing market continues to heat up, with CML figures revealing the steepest annual leap in mortgage lending since 2008. Gross lending during October was up 9% from September and 37% higher than in October 2012, the fastest year-on-year -year growth since October 2008.